In this tutorial, we quickly see how to do some operations with numbers written in standard form. And we're going to work through two examples. The first is the one that we see here. We have 3.6 times 10 to the power of 5, which is multiplying 2 times 10 to the power of 7. Now notice that both of these numbers in this multiplication are written in standard form. So to begin with, let me move this question to the side, like so. Now to calculate this, the first thing we can do is get rid of these parentheses. Indeed, since everything is being multiplied here, we don't need these parentheses at all. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as 3.6 times 10 to the power of 5 times 2 times 10 to the power of 7. The next thing I'll do is write both of the numbers 3.6 and 2 side by side, as well as both of the powers of 10 side by side. So those are 10 to the power of 5 and 10 to the power of 7. In other words, I now write that this equals to 3.6 times 2 times 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 7. Remember, multiplication is commutative, so we're allowed to change the order of these numbers. Now that that's done, let me start by multiplying this 3.6 and this 2. Now, 3.6 times 2 is equal to 7.2. And we're still left with 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 7. Now, to multiply 10 to the power of 5 and 10 to the power of 7, we need to use our laws of exponents. Indeed, remember that if we have some number a raised to a power m, which is multiplying that same number a raised to a power n, then that equals to a raised to the power of m plus n. Now in this instance, the number a would be 10. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as 7.2 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 7. Finally, we can state that this equals to 7.2 times 10 to the power of 12. And we're done. We've just multiplied these two numbers in standard form. Let's look at another example. Here we have two numbers written in standard form. 9.6 times 10 to the power of 7, and 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3. And we're dividing this first number by the second. So let's see how we can do that. I'll move this to the side, like so, and now we can get started. So the first thing I like to do is state that this is equal to 9.6 times 10 to the power of 7 over 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3. And now that I've done that, I like to split this fraction into two. And here's what I mean. I'm going to write that this equals to 9.6 over 4.8 times 10 raised to the power of 7 over 10 raised to the power of 3. And to make things clear, we're allowed to do that due to the fact that if we have a times b over c times d, then that equals to a over c times b over d. Okay, now that that's said and done, let's take care of this first fraction here. We have 9.6 over 4.8, which is the same thing as 9.6 divided by 4.8. And you can go ahead and check, but that's equal to 2. So we have 2 times 10 to the power of 7 over 10 to the power of 3. Now that that's done, we need to take care of this second fraction. And to do that, we again use our laws of exponents. Remember that if we have a non-zero number a raised to some power m, which is being divided by that same number a raised to a power n, then this equals to a raised to the power of m minus n. So in the case of this fraction here, a would be 10. And so using this rule, we can go ahead and state that this equals to 2 times 10 to the power of 7 minus 3. Finally, we state the final answer as 2 times 10 to the power of 4. And we're done. We've just divided one number written in standard form by another. And that's it for this tutorial. 